So in today's video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to upgrade the SSD in your new Surface Pro 11. So you don't have to pay the insane prices that Microsoft charge you to upgrade for more than that base 256 gigabytes of storage. So here I have the new Surface Pro 11. Now I have got the OLED version, but it makes no difference which model you buy, the OLED or the IPS. And this guide also works from the previous Surface Pro 10 right the way down to the Surface Pro 7 Plus where they first introduced a removable SSD. You're also going to need an SSD. And as these newer models can accept a Gen 4 drive, we bought a two terabyte Western Digital 770M. This is a great price drive with good performance and five years warranty for peace of mind. Now I will link this down below just in case you want to pick one up as well. You're also going to need a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive. Now for ease of use, I'm using the Samsung USB-C flash drive. So I can plug it straight into that Surface Pro 11 with no USB-A ports. But you could also use uh, a USB-C to USB-A hub or converter for an older style USB-A flash drive. Now you're also going to need a T4 driver. And I have my trusty iFixit's Essential Toolkit here with a great range of bits, which does include the T4. Uh, that's a very high quality kit. And again, I'm going to link these down below. So our first step is to create a bootable USB-C media. So we're going to click the link in the description, which takes you to the Microsoft page to download an image zip file. Now it's going to ask you for your Surface model and your serial number. Now to get your serial number, you can get it off the back of the device, which is in tiny letters, or my preferred way is to open your Surface app, which lists your serial number within Windows. So I can then copy it from there straight into the actual Microsoft page. Now, once you've entered that information, you're going to need to download a 12 gigabyte zip file. Once you've downloaded it, extract that file and keep that to one side. Now we're going to plug our USB flash drive into the surface. Make sure that the drive is empty or you've at least saved the work that's on here because it will get wiped in this process. We're going to hit the Windows start key and type recovery. You can then see a recovery drive option appear. You're going to click it and when a create a recovery drive app appears, you make sure you uncheck that backup system files. Next, follow the prompts to create that bootable flash drive. And then within Windows Explorer, we're gonna open the flash drive and the surface image folders. We're gonna copy the entire contents of the surface image and paste it onto that flash drive, making sure to overwrite the original contents of that drive when prompted. We now have a fresh install drive created. So let's power off our Surface Pro 11 and upgrade the SSD. Now changing the SSD is very simple. With the surface powered off, Lay it flat down on the table and lift the kickstand right up to give you full access to that SSD cover. Now this cover is held in place with magnets. So just press down on the small dimple and lift the plate from the other side, which is easily then removed. Next, with your T4 driver, remove the little screw holding the SSD in place. And the actual compartment is quite tight. So I use a pry tool to just slightly lift the SSD and then wiggle it out with my fingers. With the old drive removed, it's time to install our new drive. Slot the new 30mm SN770 drive into position and screw it down with the original screw. Then just take your plate, put it back in and pop it down. The magnets will snap it back into place. So it's now time to install Windows on this new SSD using the flash drive that we've actually created. So first things first, you're going to plug in your actual USB-C or USB-A with adapter into your Surface Pro 11. You can then plug in your power adapter because this will not boot for the first time after you change the SSD without the power adapter. We then hold down the actual volume down button and press the actual power button. And then when you see that Surface icon appear, just let go of the actual volume and it will now boot to a recovery menu. Now it does take a little while to boot because you're booting from a USB. And for the first screen it comes up, it asks you for the language. So you choose your language, you then you choose your keyboard layout. And then from there, it takes us to a recovery page and we're gonna select recover from a drive. From that point on, we're just gonna follow the prompts and set up Windows just like you did when you first received your device. And that's all there is to it. It will now boot into Windows with all the drivers and your Surface app installed as if you bought a brand new fresh Surface from Microsoft except we've now got a whopping two terabytes of storage to utilize. And even better news is when we actually tested the original drive to the new drive, there's a massive difference in speed. And considering the cost of this new SN770 drive, 
is actually cheaper than just upgrading from 256 to 512 gigabytes at Microsoft, it makes it even more impressive. So overall, this is a very, very simple operation. Hopefully these steps have made it very clear to you. Now, as always, if you've got any questions, pop it in the comment section down below and I will answer you. And you know, I think this definitely is a much cheaper, and more viable way of getting a lot of storage in these Surface Pros, because 256 gigabyte really isn't a lot. And all that's left to do is for me to take this and go and use it. Thanks for watching.